That's right, this is what most people were thinking when they saw the pickup truck from Tesla at the unveiling last night, but at the same time I've never seen so many people saying, ooh, I don't like it, and then immediately got on their phone and reserved one and spent their $100 for the reservation fee. That's that's how polarizing the event was last night, and I know a lot of you were saying, Alex, you know, we really want to see the video, what, what are your thoughts, you know, when are we going to see the video, and I needed a second. I have to say, I've been to about, I don't know, 50 electric car unveilings at this point in the last three years. And then during the LA Auto Show, I've gone to a few as well. I was never stumped so much as I was after this event. So, but now I've, I've sort things out in my head. I've listened to what some other uh, journalists had to say, some of the fans and so forth. So I'm, I'm ready to issue some verdicts here. We're going to separate uh, this video into four parts. We're going to talk about the presentation itself. Then we're going to talk about design, uh, specs and price. And uh, the last one, we're going to talk about whether or not this truck is really for the masses, right? Um, and um, I have already posted the uh, ride along video. I was actually one of the first like 10 journalists who was uh, riding in the truck. And I got to tell you, this time around, I got a media pass from, from Tesla for the first time ever only took three years but kudos to them uh I, I was the first one to post on youtube so this video is there i think it's got like a quarter million views or something crazy like that so check that out and you know tesla stock also wasn't very kind and uh, as you can see the stock market didn't like the truck either but i bet they still went in in, in reserve uh, so let's let's get going with this and first let's start with the presentation itself and i gotta tell you I don't care if you're a Tesla fanboy or a hater or whatever. That did not go well. They just did not. It, as a matter of fact, it was it was so not good, for the lack of the better word, that Tesla also did not repost it anywhere in the social media. Usually, they post those presentations on on YouTube, and is, if if you go to uh, Tesla's YouTube account, it is missing there. So <laughs> they did not like it much either. And of course, you know the whole window breaking that was uh, that was unfortunate. Um, and I know they just posted this video of Franz throwing this uh, uh, balls at the window, literally like within the uh, hour before uh, the presentation. And as you can see, everything was fine there. Um, I believe Elon tweeted it out. And hey, listen, you know, this is this is the thing about the live presentations, right? The, the blue screen of death during the Windows presentation, uh, I think back to 2000, uh, um, in the Faraday Fusion, there are many others. Uh, I would have skipped the test if, if, I, if I was them, but in there's some scientific explanation why it happened, uh, and they probably just threw it too many times and finally it, it, it gave up. But, you know, it is what it is. And uh, the, But there's one, an, another disappointing thing to me was that the one more thing was the ATV here. And I got to tell you, and you probably, <laughs> and I took this picture when then people were like, they were bringing stuff down. Look at that guy in the background, like, get out of here so <laughs> it was kind of cool to write on that little thing didn't write it actually just sat on it but uh, i thought that one more thing uh was going to be the model 2 i have a video about it because i believe that's what's the next unveiling is going to be but for that they would have to tell us that there's one coming and so far at this point we have nothing in the queue for tesla so this is my prediction, you can watch that video and I'll explain why. And by the way, another thing that I really didn't like about the presentation is the color of the car. It was just the worst, it looked dirty, it just looked like... By the way, we all thought, we, you know, everybody who was there, we all thought that you know, this was uh, this was a joke. Like that that uh, Elon was going to say, well, did you see, this is what you thought this was going to look like, but really, and then everything was going to blow up and the real truck was going to show up. I've talked to multiple people and I was trying to get, you know, the first impressions from everybody and everybody was like, yeah, we thought we were being punked, but <laughs> we were not, right? All right, so, and by the way, so, you know, I, I hated the color, you know, as you can see, my rendering on a thumbnail is in the red because I think that that would have been a great color to, to uh, showcase the car in. Here's one in blue, uh, gray would have been nice as well, like this one. Uh, here's kind of a dark, a light brown, of course, white, but I really think that this truck should have been in black. I think in black, it would have looked absolutely perfect. But unfortunately, that's not what happened. And I think that 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 also hurt the presentation. It just did not look good in person or on camera. So 
Let's get to the point that everybody wants to talk about, which is the design. Before that, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this show is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all-electric SUV without any sharp corners. Uh, over 50,000 reservations have been made for this one, of course, when it's coming to the US and uh, Europe. Don't forget to reserve yours. It takes about, you know, 30 seconds of your time, but most importantly, zero dollars, zero rubles and euros to reserve it. So go to the description of this video and reserve your Byton today. All right, so let's talk about the design. And you know, I, a lot of people describe it as uh, something that they've drawn when they were five, <laughs> when they just needed to draw a car and Elon just made it into a thing. There are tons of memes out there that are super funny. This is one of them. By the way, stay tuned. I have another video coming. Uh, top 10 funniest or most entertaining memes about the Cybertruck. I know most of them are mean, but you know, you got to laugh at it because it's just, you know, it's just funny. And so you, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe and that video uh, I'll upload uh, very, uh, very shortly. Now, is it too futuristic or is it not enough futuristic, right? I, I, that, this is the question that I don't think anybody can answer now the interior is kind of going along with what uh what i think everybody kind of thought this would be the wheel that the steering wheel kind of comes from the roadster type uh the uh, the dashboard comes from the model 3 and by the way that that front marble jacuzzi type of the edge there apparently it's made out of paper like material so literally this car is made out of paper inside and bulletproof crap on the outside so that that's pretty cool but is it sexy it is just not part of the sexy family this is sexy right the cybertruck i'm not really sure if it's sexy it's definitely futuristic it's definitely something very very new it's disruptive um but it is it is this does not fit into you know france's design and kind of makes me wonder like was he was he, was it him who designed it like that is so different from his previous designs even before tesla so let's move on because we got to talk about specs and price and i gotta tell you those are amazing they've kind of got drowned out with so many other things but the, the i mean first of all the price starting at you know just under forty thousand. that's amazing yes you're not going to get the great range uh, still 250 miles uh, or the great zero to 60 about 6.5 but nevertheless that is a great price to own that this thing that's great and then of course you can go up to what 300 over 300 miles 300, oh no i'm sorry 500 miles on on, on, the, on the full charge or maybe even plus they said you know the, uh, the 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 pulling torque the uh, acceleration the uh, the fact that they had outlets by the way 110 and 220 outlets that's pretty uh, you know important i mean all of the specs that you expected from this truck were there uh except for i did not expect that they were gonna once again uh under promise and over deliver on the price because remember you know elon said it's gonna be fifty thousand, and we're like whoa that is so cheap boom 40,000 under 40,000 so that is definitely and that's before, before the state incentives the incentives are probably going to be gone by then for the federal and I, I doubt they will they will actually continue them but let's talk about probably what we're starting to think now that the, everyone's kind of s sobered up uh will it sell right and you know I was I talked to a lot of people last night and and I gotta tell you the person who and it, you know first of all let me tell you I, I the question is is tesla like a kardashian at this point is it it does have a big booty right so that will 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 we'll give it that but like you know whatever kardashian does right that becomes popular she tells her audience what's cool is tesla like a kardashian that can tell us what's cool and we'll be like all right well we didn't know that was cool we thought it was kind of ugly but you know what i you know better elon we're gonna buy it right so but the most sobering and and i think most logical and interesting perspective i got was from kim of like tesla um this is actually our conversation from uh, model y unveiling if you want to see that interview uh which is actually pretty cool uh it's on, the, on my channel but it, it was also at the same location uh but she gave me probably the best answer because she said listen you know this is going to sink in and uh, people are going to start kind of coming around because, you know, they did not expect this to be this kind of a futuristic. And a, but, you know, much like with a Hummer, you know, at first everybody thought, well, who's going to buy that piece of crap? Because, you know, it's really just a military vehicle. But guess what? 
this is right <laughs> kind of looks like a meal that's what uh, that's what elon said it was going to look like a meal so you know and then a bunch of celebrities including arnold schwarzenegger was seen driving one and you know and and people like yeah well i guess this is cool we're just going to drive kind of a smoothed out pretty um, you know a uh, humvees now and and i and she said that's what might happen with this with this truck now i gotta tell you that i'm wondering if the great price on this truck is going to hurt uh, it's uh, it's demand because I don't think the demand is going to be huge, right? But in order to bring it to that forty thousand dollar price, there should be a good amount of these orders, and I'm not sure if people are ready. I don't think not too many Tesla owners are ready for this, and I definitely don't think a lot of F one fifty owners are are ready for this. So there will be sort of a I think smaller. And that's what Elon told us to expect. Smaller niche of people who are going to be buying them. So I almost thought that you know, forty grand is great, but I think it might have should have been priced at like hundred fifty, right? Almost a status car, uh, because I think a lot of people would want to buy it because there's nothing else like it. But if there's a bunch of them so being sold for forty thousand, then it might lose its appeal of being unique, right? Like Hummer. So you know, and and obviously you know Rivian is probably having a, a party right now because you know they probably were concerned about this you know uh, rivian definitely is trying to be first to market and would be competing with tesla pretty much the only real competitor i would say to uh, any electric new pickup truck and um now that they see that uh, now that they see that the tesla's pickup truck is not really a pickup truck but more of a tank i think they're like yeah i think we we whew, and they probably celebrated same thing for with with Bollinger as you know it's probably a more exotic type of a car just so it in person at the LA Auto Show looks great in person and my interview with Robert Bollinger their CEO is coming on this channel pretty soon but uh, I, I bet they're kind of relieved as well so yeah it, it, it is definitely going to be tough but you know we've seen stranger things right we have stranger things with the model uh, S and the model 3 but where a lot of people going like well I don't know if the electric car is going to sell but you know, so the one thing I will add, though, and if you're a Tesla fan and if just an electric car, uh, a revolution fan, I got to tell you, I'm a little bit mad at, at Elon because, yes, he is pushing the envelope and he's taking a risk. But man, this is I mean, I, is Tesla at the point where they could be taking risks like this? Right. Could could they afford a dud? Because we don't know if it's a stutter dud yet. I don't think they can, and that what worries me. I really hope this was very thought through, and maybe this will be in a low, sort of a limited amount that they're, they're, they're going to be making this. So I'm a little mad at him for, 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 for thinking maybe a little too far ahead because this company still needs to survive, still needs to make you know, uh, uh, you know, profits. And as you can see, this did not help stock at all. I mean, it's really just done the opposite. Uh, by the way, uh, these videos, don't forget, they're all being streamed live on Patreon. This is where basically you are first uh, to see uh, my videos and then they, I repost them on YouTube. But if you want to support me, I'm a full-time YouTuber, all this traveling I do and, you know, the whole food buying thing. This is my only gift, so I really appreciate it. Uh, one of my new Patreon is uh, Mike McBride. Thank you so much, Mike, for supporting my channel. If you want to support my channel, watch this live. Go to patreon.com slash e4electric. That is in the description of this video, as well as signing up with our free VIP list, which means you'll get a bonus article every Saturday in your inbox because there are just so many stories that we're not able to fit it into this channel or even our e4electric.com website. So that's how you can get those videos. All right, let me know. What do you think about the truck? Uh, do you think it will sell? And have you also made a reservation because it was only $100 and you just did it anyway to get into the queue? I am looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.